In this segment, we will show you how to install the wheels and make final adjustments to the spreader. Slide a washer, part O, over the left-hand axle as viewed from the rear. Then slide on a spacer, part L, followed by another washer, part O, as shown. Then slide one of the wheels, part 2, onto the axle. Finally, install the hubcap, part Z, onto the axle, tapping lightly with a hammer until the hubcap is snug against the wheel. Repeat the last steps to install the other wheel to the opposite axle. Make sure the washers and spacer are up against the axle support of the hopper support. Now, locate the hole in the right-hand axle, making sure to align the hole in the wheel hub with the hole in the axle. Install a cotter pin, part R, through the drive wheel and axle holes. Then, bend the ends of the cotter pin around the axle using pliers. Using a hammer, gently tap the hubcap, part Z, onto the axle until it is snug on the wheel. The wheels are now assembled. We will now go ahead and adjust the spreader's flow plate to a working configuration. On the flow control bracket, loosen the wing nut and set the adjustable stop to a setting of 5. Tighten the wing nut. Pull the flow control arm against the adjustable stop for the on position. Then slide the flow control bracket along the hitch tube until the flow plate in the bottom of the hopper is halfway open. Hold the flow control bracket firmly and tighten the bolts and nuts fastening the control bracket. Make sure you do not over tighten the bolts and deform the bracket. Now reset the adjustable stop to the 10 setting and maneuver the flow control arm to make sure that the flow control plate opens and closes all the way. If it doesn't, go back and readjust the flow control bracket until the flow control plate works properly. 